Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Ihor Patera versus Robert Bryzek. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going, um, I'll go low confidence Robert Bryzek to beat Ihor Patera. I just feel like in this one, um, I'm not really impressed with either guy at all. And I think um, Ihor Patera is just making a terrible decision. Like typically, if you're not the most technical fighter at a higher weight class, Dropping down to another weight class is not the move for you. Unless the case is like, oh, this weight class, striking is terrible this weight class. And I have good um, takedown defense and good BJJ. I might not be the best offensively with it, but I could defend their takedowns. I could pick them apart. I could go well in this weight class or something like that. Or this weight class has a bad wrestling, wrestling defense. I go down there. Like, you know, that's kind of thing. And I could use the size advantage to something like that. would be the case. But I don't think Eo Patera going down. like he's going to be slower. Then the guys, you know, it's a 20 pound drop. You know, my CC is a one weight class, but the weight, the gap between light heavyweight and, and middleweight is probably one of the, if not the one, if not the biggest gap in MMA. It's a 20 pound drop, 205 to 185. So the, the guys will be quicker, be more technical there. And now you're drained. It's not like you have a super great chin at light heavyweight. Now you're dropping down. So you're going to suck more fluid out your head. You know, that's going to take away time from improving your technique, which isn't the best. So he's not a super technical striker. I would say he's one of the, the less technical strikers at lightweight. Now he's one of the less technical strikers and less technical fighters at middleweight. He already was like a one-round fighter. But the good thing for him is Bryzek seems to be like a one-round fighter as well. But I think Bryzek will be faster. I think, I think he'd be fresher out there. He's not a, coming off a TKO loss like um, Patera. So he'll be faster. He has power as well. And he's fighting a guy who... He should have more uh, speed and technical advantage over. And it's not like um you know, Patera has a plan B. He's like he's gonna have some grappling he could go to really in this one. He just kinda he going for the chin. And Bryce is going for the chin. But I think Bryce would be able to reach him first. And also with the fact that you cut in more weight now and also not really improving on your skills. And you also just when you're trying to adjust to this new speed and like dealing with weight cutting at the same time, I think he's not gonna be the best prepared for it. So I feel like um Bryce is gonna be the quicker, faster, and his power is already there and it's going to be enhanced by the fact that you're dealing with a guy who's used to dealing with slower fighters 20 pounds up and um now he's cutting down and cutting weight and also dealing with this speed and technique um increase hike up in his first fight so it's a lot he's dealing with and was already not the best fighter at upper weight class so i'm saying a whole lot to say a whole lot of nothing but yeah, I think, yeah, I think um, Robert Bryzek is going to be to find the chin of Ihor Patera and just be faster to punch. And the power is still going to be very much valid. And I think he knocks him out first round. So in this one, I got Robert Bryzek via first round TKO.